Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Terra Terra doing a quick read for you all. We're going to take this die, choose the decks to make the message you need here. At the end, we're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny. And then we'll do the all signs if you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc., etc. If any card repeats, I will point that out in case it's something you need to hear. And if any sign repeats, I will point that out in case that's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. There's a playlist called Random with deck reviews in it if you want to check it out. Um, I think that's it. Um, if, you, if it resonates, if you like it, feel free to the like button. Um, if it doesn't resonate, um, feel free to check out one of your other sign placements, Sun Moon, Rising, or Venus. And I think that's it. So let's roll. Okay, that was quick. Um, New Vision Tarot. Actually, this is the same one. It keeps... Uh, so number 13 keeps... Oh, by the way, if, a, if we roll a 20 or 21, I'm rolling again. I'm not using um, Healing Light Tarot or Revelations Tarot because they keep tripping me up and I feel like a complete dumbass when I roll... When I do a reading with them. I'm having a hard time connecting with them, so I'm not even going to use them. So this one keeps coming out, though. For some reason, New Vision Tarot. So I don't know why, but we're going to... We're going to see what's going on. So last time I... I shuffled and put it back in the box. The Two of Wands uh, was now on the bottom of the deck. So Two of Wands is all about being at a crossroads, trying to decide where to, what to do, where to go, which way to turn. So this is what's on the bottom before we even shuffle. So let's do a quick shuffle, and then we'll find out what your first spread is going to be. So what's your first spread? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, folks. Future love, okay. So let's see if you're single and looking to mingle or if you've just met someone, although it's not the just met an acquaintance, but it's the uh, future love. So who is your future true love? Um, well, they could be somebody who's a little bit immature when it comes to their communication. Um, either, either they don't communicate a lot, they do more spying than they do talking and communicating, or they're just... They might not be the best communicator, but um, they might be somebody also who, um, when they do speak to you, they have a tendency to be a little bit childish in their, their actions and reactions. Um, because your future true love is signified by the uh, the knave of swords, which is like the page of swords. Um, it's this one right here. So this, you know, may not be the best communicator. Um, will the attraction be instant? Um... I'm going to say yeah, because the chariot, would that's forward movement. That's, you know, having control over things. I think that it will be instant. So you're instantly going to be in, in, attracted to each other. Um, and you know what? Actually, let's do it this way. Okay, so hold on. Before I trip myself up. <laughs> All right, so. I'm going to put these in, in positions. Um, what will the person be like? Um, they're going to be very patient. Um, and when I said that the attraction would be instant, uh, because the, the chariot, the chariot's actually on the bottom of the deck. Um, so this is a cancer card, by the way. This is, um, moving forward and having control over things. So, um, whoever this person is, you are going to have forward movement with them, but you're going to feel like you're chained to them in some way. This could be like a, um, a soulmate karmic kind of thing because look look how the people are shown they're shown um being chained to each other um being dragged along you know um almost like prisoners so this cherry card's a little bit different um new vision huh so the attraction being instant i'm gonna say actually hold off because um the, the attraction might take a little bit of time to grow it may not be as obvious um what will the person be like they're gonna be very patient um, the challenge is the high priestess, is secretiveness, um, not speaking up. I think you're going to deal with somebody who's a bad communicator because you're going to be have to be the one that reaches out. Because, look, this is the challenge, okay? We've got the, the page of swords in the beginning, who they are. The challenge is this, um, too quiet, possibly secrets or secretive. Um, what will help um, you having to reach out, you being the one communicating, and cut through the bullshit, um, when, where, how will you meet? Um, it could be at a wedding or it could be, um, oh, they might already be, they might already be in a relationship. Ooh, Scorpio. I'm not, just be careful about that. Um, make sure that you, the person that you start to deal with is definitely out of anything else. They're not, because 
when, where, how will you meet? You get the two of cups and I feel like they're already in a relationship. They're already together with somebody. They may already be married, um, but I think they might they might already be in a commitment. So that's how you're going to meet. <laughs> um, but there will be forward movement. But I am I feel like it's almost like a karmic thing. You might feel like you're chained to them in some way, tied to them. So hopefully it's not like a trauma bond kind of thing. Hopefully that's not it. Ooh. All right. So let's see what else we have for you. I don't like that. I almost felt like when I look at that, I almost see trauma bond. All right. So the good tarot. Oh, I love this deck. This might actually be my favorite deck. I don't know if I have a favorite one. This one's definitely in the top. This is in the top running for sure. Um, and it's going to be where, uh, what will this sex be like with them? All right. So this is all right. For somebody you have not had sex with and you're interested to know how things are going to go. Um, and this might, this is going to be a new love. It looks like, okay, there is a hair while we were shedding. All right. So, um, because on the bottom of the deck, before I put it away, I shuffled and Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. So it could be a new love. Um, and I almost feel like they're going to give you pearls or you're going to give, you're going to give them pearls. Somebody's going to give somebody pearls. I'm just going to say this and we all know what it means. Um, you may get or give a pearl necklace. <laughs> Maybe not the the jewelry type. <laughs> All right, so, because um, it is, you know, what will the sex be like with them? And then we see that on the bottom of the deck. All right, so, the energy is surrounding the two of you. And as I said, two, I feel like there was more than two. So, I, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> For those of you who are going to, I guess, have an orgy, there's that. But um, the energy is patient. So, you're, you try to be patient and wait for it. There's a feeling of um, trying to be patient right now, patiently waiting, because this is the temperance card in the good tarot. So it's all about being patient. All right, so their sexual secret number one, um, it's almost like they, they stand out in some way. Um, they make sure that they're very noticed and they, they stand out in some way because you have the star card. That's their sex secret. Number one is that, that you, they almost, they almost want people to worship them. I feel like I know this sounds funny because it's the star card, but it like hero worship or star worship, um, their sexual secret. Number two, um, money. They're very stable. Okay. So they might try to use their money to turn you on. That's interesting. So they may try to <laughs> get the person all wound up with like their money and, and with, you know, the resources and like take you, like you take that, you know, well, they're going to take you. This person is going to take you or out on the town some in some way, some way. It's the king of earth, which is the king of pentacles. That's our sexual secret. Number two is it's all about, um, they're going to spend a lot of money. They're going to, they have the resources and they're going to spend a lot of money. Um, they're willing to spend a lot of money to really turn you on, so to speak. So maybe money turns them on. Maybe they have, um, some tourist placements. Um, will this sex be good? Um, I don't get the great, well, okay. So I see keys. Um, if the key to your heart is to be behind closed doors. Well, that would make sense if you're having sex, but, um, but it's the hermit card. Will the sex be good? The hermit card is a card of being alone. Ooh. It's going to make you wish you were alone. I feel like the, do they have the key to your heart? Do they have the key to the door? Um, I don't know. Are you going to leave a key out for them? Maybe that's, it. I mean, maybe, maybe that's it. Okay. So are you going to leave a key out for them? <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna wait alone patiently for them to come to you i don't know about that one um i'm gonna say the verdict is kind of let, let's see i'll do clarification because it's still the page of airs like the page of swords not a lot of communication mm, i don't know if you're gonna feel like the sex is all that good, good with this particular person um, do they think about sex with you? They think about money. 
I don't know if they think about sex, but tens, I guess a ten would be a yes, but they may think more about like, um, having sex with money. I, it's, it sounds funny, but look at this, the ten of earth, that's the ten of pentacles. So do they think about it? Um, I think, yeah, but they're, it's almost like money turns them on. Okay. There's my neighbor. Um, all right, so on the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, uh, page of water, that's like page of cups. So you could be dealing with somebody um, that is emotionally immature. So there's that. All right, so what else do we have for you? I'm going to do one more and then we're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then the all signs. Um, I don't want to spend all day on this, day, night, whatever, whenever you see this. All right, so Mabromic is the next deck, and that is this one. And it is animals with gigantic heads. Look at the... um. It's so cute. It is so cute. All right, so let's see, because this one is the, uh, I think that's the full card. Yeah, that's the full card. All right, so, come on. They don't all want to come out, do they? They want to hide. All right, so what's on the bottom of the deck after I've shuffled put them back? On the bottom ended up being the Six of Pentacles, so um, either giving to two people, being charitable, trying to balance things out. Um, so you have twin flame soulmate spread is the final one. And then we're going to do the six cards and the all signs twin flame slash soulmate spread. It's a seven card spread done with Mabromig. Mabromig. All right. So their energy. All right. So they want a new, <laughs> they want to try again. They want a new start. They want to try again. Um, your energy, you want to break. <laughs> you want, look, this is. This is their energy. They want a new start. This is your energy. You're like, I need a break. <laughs> You're like, I need a break. I need a break from this. Um, their blockage uh, communication. Either they don't or they do too much or they act before, you know, speak before they think or something. So their blockage is their communication. Communication is a blockage for them. All right. So your blockage. Um, What's well, the king of wands? So <laughs> the king of sex. Um, so is your blockage that you just want to focus on passion now? That you just want sex? I don't know, Scorpio. You know your, your situation. You know yourself. What connects you is making money. Money is what connects you. Interesting. I'm seeing a theme here. <laughs> I'm seeing a theme. They're coming for your dollars or whatever you know pounds or drachma or whatever it is you earn all right so lira whatever it is um message from spirit <laughs> okay this is funny this this is the only deck that has the happy squirrel so for the i think the message is focus on happiness um this is the message from spirit just focus on, you know, being in the moment and happy. Um, the outcome. And this is the Queen of Wands. Interesting. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. And in this position, they're not facing each other. So they have a lot of passion for each other. Look, in the fourth of, like, his, his or her blockage and the outcome. The number four and number seven positions, but look, they're not facing each other. So the king and queen of wands are not facing each other, but they have a lot of passion for each other. So they're not, they're not looking in each other's direction, but they have a lot of passion for each other. All right. So, huh? Let's see, outcome is you know, having a lot of passion for the other person, still wanting them. Um, judgment. So there's. Someone's making a decision here. Judgment call. It's a twin flame soulmate spread um, done with Mabromic. But this is um, on the bottom of the deck. This is the judgment card. Uh, making a decision. Maybe raising the dead. <laughs> Maybe raising the dead. Um, bringing something back to life. Um, deciding to bring something back to life. I don't know if like if, the, if you thought the relationship was dead and you're trying to bring it back to life. I don't know. You'll know your own situation. And let's see. Um, six cards, Donna's Destiny. And then we're going to do the all signs. Um, what's repeated? Uh, 
um, the Ace of Swords twice. Um, so, didn't we see, hold on. King of Pentacles and King of Earth. So, um, that's Taurus energy. Yeah. So, and I did say, did I say you might be dealing with somebody with Taurus energy? Well, there's that. Um, but the Ace of, um, Ace of Swords is um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, so. All right, it's put some money aside is reversed. Um, romance them is upright. They know the grass wasn't greener is upright. Uh, people are jealous of your relationship is reversed. Lots of money coming in is upright. And um, they have a wandering eye is reversed. And then appliance breaks is on the bottom of the deck, and that's upright. So I uh, maybe put some money aside for that. Um, if you are dealing with an Aries... We've done this one pretty quick compared to most of the reads. I'm actually happy about that. All right, so on the bottom is indecision. Two of swords. And isn't that what, um, oh, no, it was the knave. That was a page of swords. But this is on the bottom of the deck before we start. So indecision. Trying to decide what to do. All right, so if you're dealing with an Aries. Well, they have a lot. They've got a lot of love for you, but they also are being kind of quiet. Um, they may have secrets. If you're dealing with a Taurus, um, they're stressed out and they want success. They they want to move forward with you and 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 I don't know. I feel like they want they want recognition. They want you to praise them. Whatever. The Taurus is all up in their head and they want you to praise them for some reason. Um, the Gemini, um, they're gonna travel to you because they're they're feeling stuck right now. They're just they're feeling stuck. If you're dealing with a Cancer. Um, they're making a decision to work on it. If you are dealing with a Leo, um, they have a lot of passion for you, and they're very, um, I have two kings here, just throwing it out there, um, for those of you who know what that means. Um, same gender, you know, or two men dealing with two masculine energies. Um, but they have a lot of passion for you, and um, they're very financially stable. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're losing sleep over this and feeling left out in the cold. If you are dealing with a Libra, they of course, they're two of pentacles. Of course. And two of wands. Of course the Libra is. They're indecisive, can't decide what they want, <laughs> juggling possibly, at a crossroads, got the world in the palm of their hands. They're just trying to decide which way to go. So there's that. Uh, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, a fellow Scorpio, um, I think they're going to offer you apology. They're going to come rushing in with communication. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I think they want to have children with you and want to grow with you. Um, they they feel a lot of compassion for you, and they feel like you're um, like you are their wish. You are their wish. They may have a little bit of a drinking problem too. Um, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, they're spying on you and they're just taking a break. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, um, they want to balance things out. They may feel like you're a soulmate twin flame, whatever. If you are dealing with a Pisces, um, they want things to grow. They may also want to have children with you. They might be a little bit childish too, but they're going to reach out and communicate. Um, and here is a new start in love, Scorpio, on the bottom of the deck. All right. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.